Yes, guys, trend problem number four. Grant Limited granted 500 options to each of its 2,500 employees in 2005 at an exercise price of 50 rupees when the market price was the same. When your exercise price and market price is the same, that means the intrinsic value of the option is zero. So that means there should be a fair value which should be given. Continue reading. Contractual life, that is the vesting period and exercise period of the option granted is six years. Being vesting three years and exercise period also being three years. Expected life is only five years and the expected annual forfeitures are estimated at 3%. Now what is this expected annual forfeitures? Expected annual forfeitures means, let's say I am starting with 100 options in year 0. By the time I come to year 1, it will be 100 into 3% forfeiture. So out of 100%, if 3% are gone, balance will be left out as 97% only. Coming to year 2. 100 options, first year already reduced by 97%, this is first year options. Second year again 3% decline, again multiplied by 97%. Check to year 3. 100 into 97% is the first year options. 3% forfeited again in the second year. And for the third year another 97%. This can simply be written as 100 into 97% power 1, 100 into 0 0.97, you can write as 0 0.97 power 2, 100 into 0 0.97 power 3. It's a multiplication of 3.97%. So that is what he meant when he said the expected annual forfeitures are 3%. Annual forfeitures means it is every year. Per annum 3%. Fair value of the option is arrived at 15 rupees and the actual for features were 5% in 2005. 2005 is the first year. Now, however, at the end of 2005, the management of Grant Limited still expects that the annual for feature will average only 3% for over the entire vesting period. That means though the actual for features are 5% in the first year, the management is saying the forfeitures will reduce in the next subsequent years, year 2 and year 3 in such a way that it will average to 3% over the 3 years vesting. That means I will still have to consider this 100 into 0.97% whole cube for the, uh, even though the actual forfeitures were actually 5%. Continue reading. During 2006, the management however revised its estimates and the estimated forfeitures at 10% per annum. Very clearly underline that statement. It revises its estimate, revises its estimated future for features at 10% per annum. There is some significance which is attached to those simple words which are given there. Of the 2500 employees, 1900 employees completed the 3 years of vesting. Year 3 no estimates. Year 3 actual for, actually they have got vested. 1900 employees actually vested it. 1000 employees exercise their option to obtain the shares in pursuance of the scheme in 2009 and 500 op employees exercised in 2010. Rights of the remaining employees expire unexercised at the end of 2010. The fair face value of the share is 10 rupees. Show necessary journal entries with suitable notations working should form part of your answer. Now, if you have understood this part, how we, how we calculated this, we can continue solving now. Now, when, did the, when were the options granted? 2005. So, 3 years of vesting period is given to you. That is the vesting condition. So, I will write my 3 years like this. 2005, first year. 2006, second year. 2007, third year. These are my 3 years to be calculated for the provisions. Number of options expected to vest. Let's start. First of all, how many number of options were given to us? 500 options to each of the 2500 employees. So, 2500 employees, each employee gets 500 options. These were the number of options existing. Continue reading. After the fair value is given, then you read. Fair value of option is arrived at 15. Actual for features in 2005 
were 5 percent. However, at the end of 2005, the management of Grant Limited still expects that the annual forfeitures will average to 3 percent over the entire vesting period. Though the actual forfeitures are 5 percent, now he is saying that still it will average to only 3 percent. When it is averaging to 3 percent, it should be 0.97 percent whole cube, sorry 0.97 whole cube. 0.97 for year 1, 0.97 for year 2, 0.97 for year 3. So at the end of the vesting period, how many options will be left out? 0.97% whole cube. 97% into 97% into 97%. Continue for the second year also. Let's try to fill up even the second year now. During 2010, sorry, during 2006, the management revises its estimated forfeiture rate at 10% per annum. Guys, during 2006, now what is his estimate regarding? I already know one year which is actuals. 2005, already 5% have got forfeited. That is the first thing that we already know. Now, during 2006, he is estimating. Then his estimate should be for 2006 as well as 2007. And such an estimate is 5% per annum, sorry, 10% per annum, he said. So, how do we calculate? I have 2,500 employees. Each of them was granted 500 options. First year, actual figure, 5% for features, 95% remaining. 0.95. That is year 1. For year 2 and year 3, he is estimating that the annual for features will be 10%. So, 10% in the sense is 90% will remain 0 0.90 whole square. 2006 as well as 2007. So, 2005 actuals. 2006 and 7 estimated for features of 10%. Last year I don't need any estimated for features. I'll get the actual figures. The actual figures 1900 employees have completed 3 years of vesting. 1900 employees they will be receiving 500 options per employee. So that will give you a direct figure. Guys options cannot be in points. So try to round off the options to the nearest rupee. To the nearest number, you can round off the options. 97% into 97% into 97% definitely is not a round figure. Try to round it off to the nearest multiple. Come on. These are the number of options expected to vest. Multiply it with the fair value of options. Fifteen. And we shall arrive at the total employee compensation expense. Total employee compensation expense. should be provided over the vesting period proportionately vesting period in years is 3 years throughout cumulative see already provided in previous year to be provided in current year. Come on guys, we can fill it up. Multiply guys. Number of options expected to vest into fair value will give you total EC. 
on a cumulative basis the total ec into 1 by 3 is the first year's cumulative second year's cumulative is into 2 by 3 last year's cumulative is into 3 by 3 what is provided in the previous year for the first year will be zero obviously Yes guys, to be provided in the first year should be 87,4205 to reduce it from the second year cumulative figure 57,4205 this will give us an answer of 39,14,545 already provided 96,18,750 this will give you 45 lakhs 31,250 I guess 46 lakhs 31,250 <coughs> Once you arrive at this answers, you can go for the journal entries guys, go on.
Yes, guys, with the journal entries in 2005, employee compensation expense to employee stock options outstanding account, 57 lakhs 4,205. PNL to EC, transfer that EC which is a nominal account to PNL. 57,4205. Continue for 2006 as well as 2007. You will get the same pair of two entries but the amounts will be different. 2006 the amount is 39,14,545. And last year it is 46 lakhs 31,250. That leaves us with a total ESO of 1, 1 crore 42 lakh 50,000. Yes guys, come to the exercise entries then. If you have passed those 3 years, 2 entries, total 6 entries passed. Then come to the exercise entry. Check the exercise. Last third line. 1000 employees exercise their right to obtain the shares vested in pursuance with the ESOP at the end of 2009 and 500 employees exercise their options at the end of 2010. So, 2009 and 2010, I have two exercise entries to be written. 2009, 1000 employees. Come on. Bank account, the bed. <coughs> Show the calculation, guys. How many employees? 1000 employees. Each employee existing with 500 options. With an exercise price given in the second line, exercise price per share is 50. Yes, outstanding account, 1000 employees, 500 options per employee, fair value of option created as a provision is 15. To equity share capital, 1000 options, so 1000 employees into 500 options into 10 and take the securities premium as balancing figure. Bank. Two crore fifty lakhs. Yes, outstanding is seventy five lakhs. Equity share capital is fifty lakhs. And finally, the amount of securities premium is two crore seventy five lakhs. What about 2010 then? How many employees exercised in 2010? 500 employees exercised in 2010. 1000 employees if these are the figures. 500 employees exactly half figures you will get. Bank account debit. Here I wrote 2 crore 50 lakhs. So now I have to write half of it. 1 crore 25 lakhs. 500 employees. Yes, outstanding account. 
75 lakhs will now be written as 37 lakh 50 thousand. To equity share capital, half of 50 lakhs is 25 lakhs. And finally, securities premium should also be half. One crore thirty seven lakh fifty thousand. Finally, at the end of two thousand ten, there is a lapse. Thousand plus five hundred total fifteen hundred employees exercise the option. Nineteen hundred employees have actually vested. Four hundred employees options lapse. ESA outstanding to general reserve. Fill it up, 500 employees, no, 400 employees, 1500 already exercised, so 400 employees lapsing the option, 500 options per employee, I created a provision of 15, Thirteen lakhs, check the total of ES outstanding now. Utilize 75 lakhs plus 37 lakh 50 thousand plus 30 lakhs. Total is 1 crore 42 lakh 50 thousand. If you got 1 crore 42 lakh 50 thousand then the answer is absolutely right. Turn to question number 6. Okay, There is a similar question which sounds very very similar but slightly different when it comes to this part. Especially when it comes to this part. Slight difference is there due to the terminology. Just check. At the beginning of year 1, the company has 300 options to each of its 1000 employees having a contractual life of 6 years. Vesting period being 3 years and excise period being 3 years and expected life is 5 years. There is no use for that expected life being there guys excise price being 50 market price being 50 again I can say that there is no intrinsic value so there should be a fair value which is given in the question and expected forfeitures every year is at 3% so again 97% into 97% into 97% the fair value of the options calculated using an option pricing model is 15 same fair value Actual for features during year 1 is 5% and at the end of year 1 the enterprise still expects that the annual for features would average only 3% over 3 years vesting period. So that means same calculations though for first year by you know actual for features was 5% he is expecting that the average for features would remain at 3% every year. However during year 2 the management decides to the rate, the, for, uh, the rate of forfeitures is likely to continue to increase and the expected forfeitures for the entire award, underline that word. And the expected forfeiture rate for the entire award is changed to 6% per year. What does this mean? I have to take for the entire award, means all the 3 years I have to start taking at 0.94 into 0.94 into 0.94 because it is a 6% decline. But in the previous problem, I have taken this at actuals. 
and these two were estimates because he never said that the estimate is for the entire period. Normally when I am standing in year 2, my estimate will be only for the current year and the future period. It cannot be for the previous period because previous period I already know the actual forfeitures. But here he is clearly stating that the expected forfeiture rate for the entire award is converted to 6%. That means all the 3 years I am expecting it to be 6% only. Finally, it is assumed that 840 employees have actually completed 200 employees exercise their right in pursuance of the ESOP at the end of year 2000, year 5 and 600 employees at the end of year 6. Remaining 40 employees, the options are unexercised at the end of contractual life. That is year 6. Take the fair value as rupees 10 and start solving the problem. Start with number of ex options expected to vest. I have 3 years, year 1, year 2 and year 3. Year 1, number of options. 300 options into 1000 employees. 1000 employees into 300 options per employee. Expected forfeiture rate would remain at an average of 3% over the 3 years of vesting. So, 0 0.97 whole cube. Year 2, 1000 into 300 for the entire award, the revised, the estimated for features are revised to 6% for the entire award. So, it should be 0 0.94 whole cube. And finally, 840 employees con completed the 3 years of vesting, 840 into 300. Identify these values, I'm sorry. multiply it with a fair value of 15, already given, identified using option pricing model, we get totally C, vesting period it should be taken as 3 years, Those are the number of options expected to vest. Multiplied with the fair value of the options, you get the total employee compensation expense.
Check the accuracy of your calculations guys. Those should be the amount of provisions to be required every year. First year is 13,69,010 rupees. Second year is 11,22,740. And last year is 12,88,250. If you have done till here, then go for the journal entries. Entries in all the three years, we have to pass the same entry. EC to ESO outstanding. And then PNL to EC. The set of two entries all throughout until the vesting date. First year for 13,69,010. Second year for 11,22,740. Last year for 12,88,250. <coughs> Same two entries will continue. Exam, try not to write those short forms guys. Write it as employee compensation expense unless and until there is some time constraint for you. If there is a time constraint then you can write it. Evaluator can understand. Go for the exercise entries and uh, the exercise is split into two parts now. First is the exercise of 200 shares and then is the exercise of 600 shares. One is at the end of year 5 and year 6. Year 5, 200 shares. Bank account debit. 200 employees, 300 options per employee. 50 rupees. Yes, outstanding account. 200 employees into 300 options per employee into fair value of option. 15 to equity share capital 200 employees into 300 options per employee into 10 rupees securities premium being the balancing figure thirty lakhs. 90,000 and eh? 9 lakhs. 9 lakhs, 6 lakhs, securities premium being 33 lakhs. Excise entry at the end of year 6. 200 shares excised in year 5. 600 shares excised in year 6. 600 shares excised in year 6. I can just take 3 times the previous, uh, previous entry. Because this is 200 shares exercised. So, 3 times 90 lakhs. Year 
years outstanding account three times nine lakh into three twenty seven lakhs. Equity share capital instead of two hundred employees six hundred employees now eighteen lakhs. Finally, to securities premium. For 200 employees, it was 33. For 600 employees, it should be 99. Actually, it vested to 840 employees. 200 plus 600, 800 employees exercised. 40 employees lapsed at the end of year 6. Entry should be ESO outstanding account debit to general reserve. Place the figure. 40 employees. Options per employee is 300. Multiplied by fair value 15 rupees. A lakh and 80,000. That is the entry for lapse transfer to general reserve. 